show you how to create and use a your own adjustment layer it's super simple this is how you create one so final cut title you open up motion uh, if you don't have motion you can't do it this way but there are other ways I'll show you but um, final cut title and then you're gonna go to over here preset and you'll set it for I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna set this for uh, 4k frame rate 2398 this really kind of doesn't matter but it's it, it also kind of does but it doesn't anyway so we're gonna open that all right now once we have this open we're gonna click on the title option uh, where it says type text here and then you're just going to delete that and that's really the only change you need to make now you're gonna click file and then save as and then under the template name you're gonna call it an adjustment layer that's it and I'm gonna put one on the end of mine I don't know uh, I feel like maybe I want to create some presets later in the future so under category I'm gonna go ahead and do a new category and I'm gonna put three spaces in front I'm going to put John. The three spaces will bump that to the top. So we're going to create that. It's going to take a moment. I'm not sure why it's going to take a moment, but it's going to take a moment. And leave everything else unchanged. Theme, none. Include unused media. Save preview movie. Uh, just leave those unchecked. Then you're going to click publish. All right, now we're gonna hop into Final Cut Pro and go into our titles. And then you see that new category that I just created, John? You see it's all the way on the top because I put those spaces in the beginning of the name. There's adjustment layer one. So now all you have to do is grab that, drag it over your clip. And <clears throat> if you want to, so we'll start by you know putting it over just this one clip here and now you can make all your adjustments to all your color adjustments to just this one layer and so here's the cool thing so you make this adjustment and everything's in the layer so you can just turn off and on that layer if you want you could add second secondary layers or whatever you want to do so now you can copy and paste that adjustment layer onto other things see um, so that same adjustment layer on these two clips now the reason I put adjustment layer one is because I feel like I'm going to be, you know, I want to label my adjustment layers. So I'm going to probably like create adjustment one through 10 adjustment, you know, just for the heck of it. And so I'll have adjustment layer one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That way I can down here in the timeline, I can tell which one is which. Uh, I feel like that's a good idea. Unless there's some way to rename it. No, there isn't that I know of, but, um, yeah, quick little trip, a quick little trick that I learned that might help you.